We got coolant, we got oil, we got our steam fluid. Man, this doesn't work. Oh, wow, there's so much smoke coming up to that. This sucks. So tune in for the next episode. Welcome to another episode. We are here at the Nurburg Ring. I'm gonna be driving on the track. I'm super excited. This is somewhat, has somewhat gone away. So what I think it is, um, there's just a lot of water. It smells like water, it doesn't smell like coolant. When I was cleaning out the cats with warm water and soap, I think, uh, yeah, that's why there's still a lot of water in the cats that needs to burn off. Um, so I think we dodged a bullet there. Um, I'm waiting for the fan to come on. Did it just come on? You guys saw that fan move, right? Whoa, hold up. So I have this really cool tool called Carly. And you can uh, put out some values uh, that you want to monitor. So I got oil, temp sensor, cooling temperature, cooling temperature output. Um, I don't know why D's and battery are there. They're just there, but uh, yeah, actually let's just change. No, that's source um, Yeah, so I'm just watching the temperature. Oh see the the temperature went down That means our fans working look at that It's not working very well Still a little bit there. I think it's just water Much, much, much later. Hey everybody. So we're gonna break in this engine and I just wanted to show you what I'm doing. Um, what you wanna do is get on a stretch of highway um, you do not want to go above 4,000 RPM and you don't want to be racing the engine. So what I did was I drove around for a little bit and then I uh, just got the car warmed up a little bit and then now I'm on the highway, nobody's around. And of course I was talking to my GoPro but you couldn't see the, the tack. So what I did was, I'm just re-recording the tack right now for you guys. Um, so. Uh, what we want to do is decelerate to around maybe 2,000 RPM and then what we want to do is accelerate at 20% throttle, 25% throttle slowly all the way until 4,000 RPM and then we're going to let it coast, we're going to let it pull vacuum so my foot is off the gas right now. Just gonna let it slow down on its own like that. And then we're gonna do that again. 25% throttle. All the way to 4,000 RPM. And then let it pull vacuum, let it coast. And then I did the same thing in various gears. So right now I'm in fourth gear. I'm gonna do the same thing. Uh, and then I'm gonna do like 50% throttle. So maybe after you guys drive around for a bit, 
for, uh, let me switch gears here, fifth gear, after you guys have driven around a bit, uh, doing that, maybe 100 kilometers, 200 kilometers of just varying speed and load and allowing the car to pull vacuum, then you can do like 50% throttle. Well, somebody's passing me, I'll let them pass. I should not be trying to race them. <laughs> but I'm doing this at night when there's not too much traffic around. Uh, yeah, so let's try this again. Slow down. I'm in fifth gear and I'm gonna do a 50% throttle pull. So you guys get the idea. What you want to do is, in various gears, do a 20% throttle acceleration, then do a 50% throttle acceleration. Um, you know, as the as you add mileage to your car, and then after 1,200 miles or like 1,500 kilometers, how many is that? What you want to do is change the oil. So in the very beginning, you really want to just drive the car easy. It says to not race the car. You should not go over 4,000 RPM and you should not exceed 160 kilometers an hour and for the first 1,200 miles. So then after that, you can do whatever you want. You can, uh, yeah, you can gradually do some wide open throttle pulls, um, which is what I did. So, uh, and also you guys want to be doing some longer drives. You do not want to be doing short trips. I mean, this car is so smooth. Straight six, man. I wish, I do wish I had the N54 because it has turbos and just more power, but you still get a nice, flat torque curve um, and good smooth linear acceleration it's re it just feels really good it's a bit of sound emotion but when you just drive it like normal it feels normal but yeah definitely it's not the fastest car in the world but I wanted something I can drive every day and go have fun with on the weekend the Nurburgring or or uh, Hockenheim ring or something and uh, to have a non-turbo car I feel is number one a bit safer you learn how to drive a bit better because you don't have as much power and you have to build up your confidence and your speed so the very first uh, couple hundred kilometers I took it really easy every single night I went out and drove about a hundred kilometers uh, just, you know, doing these gentle pulls and trying to get the ring seated properly. But, uh, yeah, I was just trying to get all the components working well together again. And <clears throat> that seemed to work well for me. It also allowed me to check, uh, all of the issues with the car a hundred kilometers at a time, or, you know, an hour at a time, uh, because there was a lot of issues actually with the rebuild. And I have a whole other video on that. So if you're interested in watching all the issues that I had with my rebuild, you can hit the subscribe button um, or I'll link it down below when it's ready. Also, one thing that I noticed uh, the first time that I did a 50% throttle pull is I could feel the Vano system get oil. So in the very beginning, the Vano system is not, doesn't have any oil in it actually. And I could hear the Vanos uh, on the top of the engine, on the front of the engine, start clicking it went click 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 uh and i assumed i thought something had broke i thought the timing chain had broke or something like that but i think it was just the vano system actually getting some oil uh to into the system for the first time so this is why this is kind of important to to do these pulls uh you know 50 percent 25 percent 50 percent pulls in the beginning so that you can get the engine all the oil 
circulating in the engine properly. You do not want any components to be working dry uh, for, you just don't want any components to be not oiled properly or the oil system not working properly. So make sure to follow these directions carefully so that everything in your engine is working well right from the start. Uh, you know, I'm filming this part much later on, uh, you know, maybe like 5,000 kilometers later. So later on, you wanna be working towards some wide open throttle pulls. So now you can do like a 75% throttle pull. And then let it, let it decelerate on its own. Put off the pedal and you want to do this repeatedly okay guys so once you have done another couple hundred kilometers like that you can start to do some wide open throttle stuff so now here let's do a wide open throttle pull so four five and so what I did was I gradually worked my way up in the RPMs. So I do a wide open throttle pull till four five, drive it around a bit. Then I do a wide open throttle pull until 5,000 RPM. Then I do a wide open throttle pull till five five. So you guys get the idea. You wanna work your way up in the RPMs and not just you know send it uh, to 7,000 the very first time. And man, the first time that I did, uh, you know, a third gear wide open throttle pull till 7 RPM, it was around the 2000, 2500, even more than that. It was like a, maybe a 3000 kilometer, 3000 kilometers after the rebuild, I want to say. So, you know, just follow what BMW says and you'll be fine. You know, my car now has more than 10,000 kilometers on the engine and you know everything is going well enough you'll see all the issues that I had in my uh, everything that went wrong with my rebuild uh, later so if you guys are interested in checking out the rebuild videos I'll have those linked down below um, if you're interested in checking us take the car out to the Nürburgring and take it out to Hockenheim ring and stuff like that I'll also link those down below when they're ready. So if you guys like this kind of content, just hit the subscribe button. And I hope to see you guys in the next video.